again, Gargus! <laughs> Bruh. I thought web swinging would let me get pizzas delivered fast. And it did. Fast and smashed. Okay, I need to get after Scorpion, but I haven't seen Aunt May face to face since the fire. I think I can afford a quick pit stop at Feast. Thing update from Bowery. Hey, MJ. Sorry to keep bugging you with this. Is it ever okay to give up on a friend? Oh, wow, Pete. Thinking of Otto? That obvious, huh? Yeah, understandable, though. Man, the high-minded, generous part of me wants to say never. Being a true friend means being there, even when people lose their way. But with what Otto's done, I just don't know, Pete. I guess you have to decide if the Otto Octavius you knew was still in there or not. Maybe if he was ever even in there at all. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, MJ. I gotta process some stuff, I think. Call me anytime, Pete. I'm here for you. Right over here. Until Miles gets back, the best thing we can do is keep everyone fed. Oh, Peter, it is so good to see you. How are you? Healthy? I'm good. How are you holding up, May? Good, but busy. Oh, let me go. <coughs> oh. oh, there. <coughs> I'm okay. Didn't you tell me something once about accepting that I'm human just like everyone else? You and Ben. <coughs> Masters at turning my own words against me. I am fine, Peter. Just a little rundown. Where's Miles? Could he help out? No, he is. He's off picking up medical supplies from the relief center. It's amazing how quickly we go through antibiotics. Okay. You stay off your feet for a bit. I'll organize the unloading and check in with Miles. Deal? Deal. Give me a chance to nurse my wounded Parker pride. Come on, Miles, answer. Don't make me worry about you and me. Quiet, quiet. So much for a milk run. How did a bunch of convicts even do this? Looks like an exploding bulldozer went through here. I can't turn back. Feast needs those antibiotics. You hear the sound his head made when the big guy hit him? Like a bug on a windshield. Heard something. What the hell is that? Need to distract him. Hacking app should work. Heard something. Got a few seconds. Whoa! Can't turn back. Beast needs those antibiotics. Need to distract him. Hacking app should work. I heard that. Better hurry. I hope some dumbass tries something. Should be able to hop that wall. <clears throat> Medical containers in that tent. Maybe this will be easy. Both of them are. But they're on our side. You two, get over here! Gaz? Iodine? No antibiotics. I need to keep looking. All right, all right. Must be hearing things. You gotta do at least some life. I'm gonna grab all I can. What the hell? This can stop right now. Just give us the locations and schedules. More supplies over there. Need to get past these guys. Don't have clearance for that. Uh, that's not what Ben's doing. 
Why are the super dudes so set on taking out these police? Something about Osborne. They want to show how weak he is, that he can't protect the city. <laughs> Sounds like a lot of drama. As long as they let us keep all the supplies we find, I don't care. Give up the depot locations? Eventually, yeah. Makes him crazy. Doesn't that mean you're Russian too? What? No, man, don't talk about my family, all right? Contract. Take the city. Let the pain spring. Looks like they're gonna divvy up. Another supply tent. Crossing finger for a couple trauma kits, but no antibiotics. Gotta be somewhere. Better not try to short us. Hey. He's trying to short you. Gotta avoid that sniper. Very large man. I found the exploding bulldozer. Supply routes and schedules. Now! Yes, Kazal! Gentlemen, I apologize. My associate is inelegant. He doesn't understand the fine art of persuasion. Stop! <gasps> Did not need to see that. What was that? Check it. Now. I think he saw me. Time to get out of here. Whoever is here, come out! I have not time for this. That tunnel. We are having fun with lights now? I will have fun with your pain. Come out! And I promise not to crush you. Please. Don't see me. Please. Don't see me. Where are you? right past him. You test my patience. Wait for it. You make me angry.
Oh! Close! Too close. Gotta get out of here. I gotta be getting close to the exit. Let me know I have these. Get off me! Just give us the wallet! Give it us, man! Help! Hey, leave him alone! Big mistake, kid. You can't just push people around like that. Or what? Like this? Haha! <laughs> Kids right. got guts! Hip squared. What the hell's he saying? Not gonna be saying anything in a second. <laughs> oh! Whoa! You wanna taste? Nah, I'm good, kid. I gotta work on my fight banner. Miles? Hey, I've been trying to reach you. You okay? Hey, so, uh, don't freak out, but, um, I gotta fill you in on some stuff. Incredible work, Miles. Stick close to Feast. If the convicts get desperate, they may try to raid the shelter. Way ahead of you. Anything else happens here, I'll let you know. Great. Thanks, Miles. Yuri, figured out Rhino's deal. He's attacking Oscorp's relief centers. Think I know which one he's hitting next. Reports of a possible earthquake and or demolition derby at the Harlem Center. Sounds like our boy. Headed there now. You holding up okay? Tired. But hanging in there. We'll get through this. Keep the faith. Ah, oh, nuts. Hate it when they lie in wait. Hey, MJ, what's up? You okay? I'm fine. Combing through Oscorp records. Hey, this is random, but... You remember that trip we took to Staten Island with Harry? To find the best pizza in the city? Yeah. Ten-hour odyssey for burnt toast with cold American cheese. How could I forget? Something about all these old Oscorp files made that day pop into my head. Harry was so excited about riding the ferry. Just made me think about how much simpler things were back then. No jobs, no super villains. We could throw away a whole day looking for bad pizza just cuz. Now it feels like if we take a nap, the world will fall apart. Yeah, this adult thing is rough. But I guess the work we do means today's kids can have their own Staten Island adventures. In safety. Kind of a circle of life thing. Circle of bad pizza. <laughs> yeah, you're right. That's a good way to look at it. Thanks, Pete.
Every day, in every way, I am getting better and better. Why doesn't it ever feel like it? Someone your own size, Rhino. There is no one my size, Poke. Or maybe we could just talk it out. Rhino, what's with the team up? Thought you were a loner. Please and Poke. All of Nightly's means an egg. <laughs> for these particular means. Freedom! True freedom! No more cute! No more rhino! No. Ah! I always like this ah. suit! So distinctive! Without you, I... Okay, Rhino. Let's wrap this up. Never send an eight-ton infant to do a man's job. Let's finish this. Oh, Scorps, love you, but you do know it's rude to cut in, right? What were you gonna do if I didn't... Beg him to give up? Yes, Garkin, that is exactly what I would have done. Ah, like an old married couple, you two! Move it, Garkin! Octavius, huh? You have a name yet? The Scary Six? The Dirty Half Dozen? Gotta get Scorpion on the ground. The gadgets might help. Get him, you idiot! Get him! Come help, Rock! Guys, please! There's plenty of me to go around! Target, control yourself! Getting his suit removed. What did Octavius promise you, Scorpion? Money. Gargan has no principle. He fights for profit. Free the money. Get me out of here!
off now, you know. I won't tell anybody. And leave your skull uncrushed? There is fun in that! Do you know what Octavius will do if he finds out you failed? I failed? Yes, you, freak show! Wow. A little force together time might help you boys learn to play nice. All right, Yuri, that's four down. Just Octavius and Lee left. Something tells me they won't be as easy. They're only half our problem, though. Devil's Breath cases are getting worse, and Oscorp is being coy about an anti-serum. I'm worried they're seeing dollar signs in a seller's market. I'd expect nothing less from our beloved mayor. Leave Devil's Breath to me. One of my best people is on it. Pete, hey. I've been through the city, state, and federal databases. If this Devil's Breath lab does exist, it's off the books. The only other place I can think to look is in Norman's personal files. I've already been through his office computer. Are you thinking his penthouse? That building's full of Sables, man. If they spot me, other residents could get hurt in a firefight. Sorry about that. Where was I? Oh, yeah. I know, but I might be able to get in undetected. I can sneak in, find the lab's location, and get out. If anything goes wrong, I'll call you for backup. Okay. It's risky, but we need that location. Wait for me to get nearby, then make your move. I'll be ready. Okay, MJ. I'm a couple blocks away. Let me know if you get into trouble. Thanks, Pete. Wish me luck. Okay. Norman's penthouse is on the top floor, but the elevator's on lockdown. Need to get into the security room to unlock- Excuse me. The lobby seems pretty busy. Is everything okay? Residents have been asked to uh, temporarily vacate their units while Sable International performs a security sweep. There's the security room, but that guard will see me if I go in. Residents are pretty upset. Maybe I can rile them up to create a distraction. down here we risk catching that plague definitely stay away from the receptionist been coughing up a storm what they have to let us back upstairs why isn't osborne down here this sort of thing never happens to him the mayor and his friends are exempt security let one of his biggest donors back upstairs right away i knew it it's all one big boys club how come Osborne never has to vacate his apartment for security sweeps? He's got some pants. Plus, you know. Off limits, ma'am. Left my stupid inhaler upstairs. I heard they'll let you up if you claim special circumstances. A health emergency might do it. Really? Come on. Let's go talk to security. That should do it. Crap. Jerry, get out of here. We got a situation. Oh, man. I can't breathe. Let me back Security upstairs. room's open. Just need to get to the door without being seen. Everyone, please stay calm. Sable International has nearly finished their sweep. That's what you said an hour ago. I know this is frustrating, but please remember, Sable is doing this for your safety. Hello. I know a few Sable agents who would love to meet you. <sighs> mm. 
multi-million dollar building with network speeds from 1995. <laughs> I like this thing. Gotta turn him around. Good boy. I'm sure Sable offers elevator controls in the security room, next to the Sable agent. Mary Jane Watson? Super spy. Time to unlock that elevator. did it. Norman's clearing out, and the elevator's unlocked. Time to head upstairs. Penthouse elevator. This is it. Norman and Sable, right on cue. Find the alarm technician. Useless button. Hmm. <sighs> Norman's guards have all cleared out. If he's hiding something up here, I'm going to find it. Blueprint for the apartment. Tons of empty space right behind the wall with a family portrait. Who leaves space unused in a Manhattan apartment? MJ, Sable presence downstairs just ballooned. I think Norman's being moved. Worried they might spot me. I might have had something to do with that. Keep your distance. I should be okay for now. Looks like a boatload of electrical is routed right behind that painting of Norman. What is this thing? Whoa, this mask is incredible. Is it showing a door hidden in that wall? I wonder where it leads. Hmm, schematics for a prototype combat mask. Looks like it can reveal structural weaknesses. Norman bids his the fabulous Osborne boys. Secret keypad behind the family portrait. Norman must like spy movies. I need to find the code for that keypad. Doors are locked till the system check finishes. We're 
work order for a keypad lock. Looks like he used Harry's last day as the code. That must be the day Harry left for Europe. Norman could be back any minute. Need to find that keypad code. Norman locked up Harry's room. Wants it untouched for when Harry returns from Europe. But where did he put the key? Harry said his mom used to cook all the time. I'd be surprised if Norman has ever even touched the stove. I forgot about this. The Osbournes have a coat of arms. And a motto. Pax in Bello. Peace in War. <sighs> Gotta remember that if I ever write a book about all of this. City's in a state of emergency, but Norman still manages to get his laundry and cleaning done for him. <laughs> what a hero. Dad, on my way to Dr. Michaels for one last shot before the, um, the big trip. Um, uh, hey, if you're gonna meet me there, could you grab my journal from my room? I just wanted to record some thoughts on the big Bon Voyage day. <laughs> uh, anyway. Listen, I know I don't say this enough, but thank you, Dad. You know, for doing this. I love you. Wow. Haven't heard Harry's voice in so long. He sounds so... tired. Let's hope that journal is still here. Gotta check his room. God. Pete and I loved coming over here to watch movies when we were kids. A different world from Queens. Funny how Harry always wanted the opposite. Nothing made him happier than watching cartoons on the little TV in May's kitchen. I used to be so jealous of Harry's family. They were so happy. At least compared to me and my dad. But when Emily got sick, everything changed. Harry's mom, Emily. We used to make fun of him for calling her the prettiest mom at Midtown, but he might have been right. Norman and Otto. Wow. They look like they used to be so close. What could have ruined a friendship like this? terminal diagnosis. I know Harry's mom was sick, but I had no idea it was genetic. Did Harry ever get tested? Harry's mom planted this when he was born. Looks like Norman has made a point of caring for it now that she's gone. Beautiful. Norman locked up Harry's room, wants it untouched. But the key has to be around here somewhere. This room smells like... rich people. 
Wonder if all this wine is from Norman's vineyard in Burgundy. Score! This must be the key for Harry's room. for Harry, can it? Why didn't you tell us you were sick? Harry's journal. His last entry is marked July 18. That must be the code to that room. I am saying we should not rush off without a plan. We? You are staying here! The antiserum is ready, and I'm going to supervise production. You will be completely vulnerable without me. I seem to be completely vulnerable with you. I'm going alone. End of discussion. Keep Team 2 on standby. I'm getting some air. Pete, Norman's cure is ready. He's headed to the lab it's at now. Can you follow? Not without alerting him. Somebody spiked Sable's coffee today. Her men are set on double secret probation alert. Okay, then stay ready. I've almost got the location. Control, grid clear. Repeat, grid clear. The hell? Man down! Man down! Control! I saw someone. Checking it out.
Okay, July 18. Bingo. Super creepy. Gotta find the location of the Devil's Breath. Wow. Norman wins the fancy map contest. Looks like the Upper West Side. Spiders. Is Norman trying to reverse engineer Peter's abilities? The labels on these cages. Bioelectrokinesis. Optical camouflage. What the hell is he trying to create? Norman Osborne, GR-27 Research Log. The whole project has gone to hell. GR-27 is a cure, not a disease. But try telling that to the evening news. Somehow, they've picked up the technician's morbid nickname, Devil's Breath, and are using it to stoke hysteria. They have no idea what it's really capable of. A cure for cancer, genetic disorders, birth defects. With just a little more research, I know we could perfect it. Instead... Norman's got a real mad scientist thing going on. Looks like a map of the Upper West Side. What are these things? Prototype hand grenades? AR interface. <laughs> Very slick. Sable troop deployments. <sighs> They're stationed all over the city. Huh. This shows all of Oscorp's properties. Had no idea they owned so much of New York. Looks like Norman's tracking Dr. Michael's movements. Creep fest. <sighs> Kinda makes sense though. Michael's is the lead on Devil's Breath. I bet I can find the Devil's Breath lab with this. It must be an Oscorp property with a ton of sable protection, frequented by Dr. Michaels. Good old Alpha Team. Devil's Breath lab must have a big sable presence. GR-27, that's the code name for Devil's Breath. This is it. Tenth and Cathedral. Isn't that... I knew it. Tenth and Cathedral, Oscorp's records department. <laughs> Perfect place to hide a secret biotech facility. GR-27 Martin Lee incident. What is this? And we are rolling. I will be right next door. Just relax and let the medicine do its work. Baby, <laughs> Oh, I got this resistance consultation. Voicing ready. I'm going in there. 
They created Lee. I, I have to get this. What? No! Who's there? Oh no. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Damn it. We have a breach. High alert. Pete, I've got the lab location. And a lot more. How far away are you? Two avenues over. Say the word and I'm there. Great. Keep the motor running. Clear that balcony. You're amazing. <laughs> it's all so much to take in. Harry sick? Norman and Lee, and Dr. Octavius? I know. This is all my fault. No, not this song again. You are not alone anymore, Pete. Let Miles and me look after Feast. You, you find Norman. You find the cure. Thanks. Partner. Get that anti-serum and start putting things right. 
There must be some way to reach Leonardo. Convince them to give up this crusade for revenge. They've both done so much good for the world, they can't throw their legacies away just to spite Norman. Okay, Norman's on his way to get the anti-serum. Better update Yuri. I hope this is good news. It is. Oscorp just created an anti-serum. There's a cure? Oh, thank God. How quickly can we get it to people? I'm on my way to find out. The lab is at 10th and Cathedral. Wait. I just got a report of a helicopter going down in that area. Oh no. That could be Norman's helicopter. I'd send officers your way, but I don't have any. Don't worry. I'm on it. This'll all be over soon, I promise.